Welcome to part two of our inaugural Gutfeld Town Hall. Once again, we're joined by fans from around our beautiful country, including the cheer squad from Northern State Community College. Yeah. They're really excited. And back again, of course, our friends from the Eastern State Correctional Facility. <laughs> Greg. 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 Okay. Tonight's guest really knows how to shake things up, especially when he sticks it to the media. Just by, by show of hands, who here is willing to admit that the Trump Russia collusion hoax was indeed incorrectly reported by the mainstream media? Why not? Why would that be inappropriate? I think it would be inappropriate. What's inappropriate is lying to the public. By show of hands, was the Wuhan lab the likely origin of the COVID-19 pandemic? Everybody, media or not. Does anyone here agree that the Hunter Biden laptop story, as reported by the New York Post, was indeed accurately reported and was not Russian disinformation, but was in fact a factually owned laptop of Hunter Biden? Yes, talk about flipping the script. But what's his obsession with raising hands? Let's ask him. Please welcome back to the show GOP presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy. Oh, my God. We got more great questions, so let's get right to it. Bozeman asks, Vivek, I like you. And if you're not going to be selected as our general president, <laughs> presidential candidate, will you agree to a VP selection? Well, I, I uh, appreciate that. I'm, by the way, talking to you from a gas station yeah, yeah. in Western <laughs> Iowa in the middle of a blizzard where we pulled over. So just to provide some context here where we are, we checked all of our campaign events. But that was we're my question. Driving around in a blizzard. For the warm so, soda. You know, yeah, I, I figured <laughs> wanted to address the elephant in the room there. But, uh, but nonetheless, hello from the gas station. Hey, Vivek, they, 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 uh, can you get me a two-liter bottle of Fanta? <laughs> Thank you, Greg. You know, Thank I you. would actually take the Dr. Pepper man. <laughs> <laughs> I always had you as a Dr. Pepper guy, but uh, but you know we'll, we'll bring that back next time in the studio. <laughs> and you know the, the truth is, you know, to address Bozeman's question, I have a thing called independent opinions, mm -hmm. which has historically been a disqualifying feature for a vice president. But when it comes to my ability to lead this country, I think I'm best positioned to do it from the front. Mm -hmm. I do think we need a leader with fresh legs. I think from the next generation to reach and lead the next generation of Americans. And I'm in this to at once take our America first agenda to the next level, but also reunite this country in the process. And I think it's possible to do both of those things at the same time. Mm -hmm. I don't think securing the southern border or using our military on the border or shutting down large numbers of federal agencies. I don't think that's a left wing or a right wing idea. I think that's an mm -hmm. American idea. But some of my policies are sufficiently let's just say, unconventional and go the distance, that I don't think I can do that in a number two seat. Mm -hmm. And that's why I expect and hope and, and ask you to help me become the next president of the United States. You know, I think I'm just wondering if the people that are working there think that you're crazy. <laughs> you go, Who's this guy? <laughs> Who's the guy in aisle six? <laughs> <laughs> Running for president. <laughs> <laughs> How did, he get, did he get out of the nearby <laughs> mental hospital? So, this is a great question. Uh, Lad KC asks, How will you free the J6 protesters and stop this insane persecution? And will you appoint Greg as your press secretary? <laughs> That's, you know, I, I have a good job. But uh, uh, let's talk about Jan 6. What would you do? Yeah. So, I've said this I'm the only candidate to make this pledge. On day one in office, I will pardon every peaceful protester that day because that's the right thing to do for this country. And I will go further case by case and understand even those who are allegedly violently charged to understand if the facts actually match up and if they had any constitutional due process rights denied. And anybody who was held to a different standard of the rule of law will get a pardon because that's how we actually have to stand for one standard of the rule of law in this country. Antifa and BLM burned this country down in cities across this nation for a year. And yet peaceful protesters that day, the likes of Owen Schroyer, who just had a megaphone, didn't enter the Capitol, yelled 1776, mm -hmm. ended up serving in prison. That's not America. And I also think that th there are some more facts that still need yet to come to light here. Mm -hmm. I know you're not supposed to talk about that, but I think it's the hard truth. 
hard questions about Capitol Police officers who let people into the Capitol. Right. I don't think that entrapment ever should be the basis. If a Capitol Police officer waved somebody in, I don't think that that's appropriate to then arrest that same person. And that's what I'm going to stand for as the next president. Great point. From Alabama, my home, if you become president, what are the first things you'll do to improve school systems, our education system? What would you do? So, look, let me start. It's sad that I have to start at this level of basics, but even when I was in Iowa over the last week, there was another school shooting here. Mm -hmm. One thing I've said, and this is top of mind, is shut down the Department of Education and put three armed security guards in every school across this country so at least we know our schools are at least safe and protected for our children. Mm -hmm. Next is actually focus on achievement. Get rid of the teachers' unions in the public schools, and school choice actually levels up not just the private schools, but the public schools in those same areas. Teachers unions, if you end them, they can then compete with private schools. And I think the teachers who do the best job, as measured by the achievement of their students, should actually make more money than they do today. So bring some merit to the compensation of teachers to lift up the achievement of our students. And then let's get rid of the indoctrination. Mm -hmm. And that's why I've said I'm not going to reform the Department of Education. I'm going to get in there and shut it down and return $80 billion to parents and teachers and public school districts and private school opportunities throughout this country. Mm. That's what it means to actually stand for an educational system that's about our students rather than about a bunch of teachers union bureaucrats. And that's mm. how I'm going to lead. I got uh, about 40 seconds left. And related, this is what uh, another viewer asked Will you unwoke our military? And how would you do that? Yes. So, a few things on our military clean house at the Pentagon. End the DEI. Even the boxes they check, Hispanic American, Black American, White American, no. Eliminate all that. There's one box if you join our military. It is American. That's what unites the people in the military around common purpose and mission. And here's the other thing. Thank you. One more thing on the military. Anybody who lost their position in the military because they refused to take the COVID vaccine will have their position reinstated with back pay times one and a half. We got to clean up our military and actually respect the young men and women who serve. That's what it means to have a real commander in chief in this country. Vivek, great job. Thank you for doing this at the gas station. You came on a full tank. Talk to you later. Best great job. Ever. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Updates. Hot takes on Ron's handshake. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.